I'm NASA Kendi's Allison Tankersley, and I'm outside KSC taking you inside KSC. Inside Kennedy Space Center's Payload Hazardous Servicing Facility, preparations continued this week for the Mars 2020 launch of the Perseverance rover. United Launch Alliance, or ULA, technicians used ground handling equipment to manually push the two halves of the 17-foot diameter payload fairings together for connection. This payload fairing protects the spacecraft carrying Perseverance atop the Atlas V rocket during the ascent through Earth's atmosphere. NASA and ULA are targeting July 20th, 2020 at 9.15 a.m. Eastern for the launch. The Atlas V rocket is scheduled to lift off from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. There's a two-hour launch window. Perseverance is slated to arrive at the Red Planet on February 18th, 2021. Once there, the rover will search for signs of past microbial life. NASA's launch service program, Basic Kennedy, is managing the launch. Twin boosters for NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS rocket, that will power Artemis missions to the moon have arrived at Kennedy. The boosters, each one made of five segments, departed from a Northam Grumman manufacturing facility in Utah and are now at Kennedy's rotation, processing, and surge facility. The cross-country journey was an important milestone towards the first launch of NASA's Artemis program. The boosters will remain inside this processing facility until it's time to move them to the vehicle assembly building for stacking on the mobile launcher. NASA is working to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. The first in a series of increasingly complex missions, Artemis 1 will test the Orion spacecraft and SLS as an integrated system ahead of crewed missions to the moon. The agency is working towards an Artemis 1 launch date in 2021. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and nasa.gov forward slash Kennedy.